Thanks for watching Wise Monkey. Today we'll show you how to resolve the VSL ID issue right here of Honda Odyssey, Honda Pilot, Honda Accord, I guess, Acura TL, RDX, MDX, all the Honda vehicles, Honda Acura, which is same, uh, them. So Honda Civic probably have the same thing. This VSA is part of the vehicle uh, stability control. Now, one way that VSA light comes on and goes off is when you turn this uh, traction control off. Push it down, this button, VSA off, uh, let it come up, VSA on, so traction control on. But this is not what we are dealing with today. This is a problem that when uh, that light uh, switch has no effect here, uh, it just uh, stays on, it's the error code. It's an error code that's not going to go away until you fix the issue as well as I'll uh, show you how to open the center console. So with uh, Honda Odyssey, uh, this is the center console. I think Pilot or newer Odyssey is the same, same mechanism, different look, but the same mechanism. Uh, there are actually clips under, uh, inside, like around these edges. There are clips. And uh, <clears throat> so you gotta lift, you gotta pry it off and very easy to damage around the corners. So you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna damage this beautiful console. And how to replace this uh, uh, automatic climate control uh, module, because sometimes this thing goes off, goes bad, and then, uh, or half of it works, half of it doesn't work, and the air conditioner blows cold, hot, hot, cold. When it's supposed to blow hot, it's blowing cold supposed to blow cold when it's, it's blowing hot. This kind of problem or half half front back some problems. So usually this is the module that uh, needs to be replaced. Yeah about twenty dollars so if you go to a junkyard and pick it up. If you go to the dealer ask for it I don't know maybe thousand dollars more than that. I don't know. But uh, for the VSA for this thing uh, the module is located right behind here module is uh, located right behind the uh, cassette players there module looks like this this is a new one this is a used uh, good one and handle with care do not uh, drop it hard and um, keep it in a nice uh, parallel to the ground place so <clears throat> to open this center console the best way to do is pop open this side one and then there is a slot actually right here, right here. You'll find there's, there, there's a groove, right here there's a groove. So that's it, you just pull, pull from the groove. You can use your hand, fingernails. And then uh, go around. But before I proceed further, uh, make sure you set the parking brake on and shut down the car okay now now slowly gradually go around it and pull show you here you do not need to open this. The shifter can stay in park the way it is. You just have to go lift it above. So before you do, underneath right here, the electrical connectors, so press and pull. It comes off. There are three like this. Should be about three. This is the other one. So press the tab down and pull it out. The third one is, there's the uh, interior light override. The tab is on this side, towards the steering column side. Yes. comes out nicely 
So to replace this, flip it over. There are six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take those off, put the new one, get a good one from junkyard. Now, before you install the other one, make sure that the lights are working. These are the bulbs. These are the bulbs that uh, illuminates this thing, right? I actually forgot to check if all the lights work here or not. I think this one works. But if not, that put a put a uh, flat head, like a flat head screwdriver like this. So this bulb has a slot right there. So right there and then turn it. Turn it anti-clockwise turn it, it it unlocks and then it comes out put the new one push it down push it down a little bit of the flat head and then turn it clockwise it locks easy that's how to replace this so remember these tabs these plastic tabs do not uh, lose them a little bit away these ones and easy to break if you want, you can just lubricate a little bit of grease, lithium grease on both sides and it goes in and out easily that way. So, put it aside. Now, you have to take this, uh, this CD flare out. To do that, need the Philips set. This uh, Philips set. Eight millimeter socket will do the same trick by the way. Now to bring this out, it's very easy to break these tabs, remember. To bring this out, all you do is pull it. Pull it and both ends it comes out. There are only two clips, one here, this one, and the other one on the other side. Again, when you put it back, you can always put some lithium grease on uh, on both ends of this uh, thing, so it goes in and out easily. I just slide it out. If you want to replace the cassette player, well, this is how to replace it, okay? There's the model number and uh, right there you can uh, replace it. Now for that uh, VSA, it is right here, so right here. I'll show. It's actually easier if you uh, disconnect these uh, few connectors and take the cassette player out of the way. But anyway, you don't need to because I can show you it's just one screw. So that's the screw right there, back there, eight millimeters. And the VSS sensor is right here. I'm touching it right up here. So take that screw out. Pull it out, disconnect the car terminal, put the new one. Show in a second. So use this ratchet. It's kind of ratchet, either 5 16th or 8 millimeter, they're the same. So once you loosen it, actually take the ratchet out. 
use hand to turn this extension. Oops. So that's just one screw. And it comes from the top. If this one push it a little bit, it comes out easier. So this is the connector. Yes. So this is the culprit for the VSL light. So it goes uh, this way. The L stays down. And remember, do not damage this tab. It goes to a halt so that it, it is fully level. So, and do not mix with the new one. Mark it, mark the old one, a new one. So this is the new one here. Nicely bring it. I don't know why they make it so tight, the cables, as if they don't have any cable left. Yes. Yeah, once it's there, now we'll uh, put the This is how I hold it and it's very easy to lose this screw remember right there it will fall you won't find it So it's in. I'll tighten it slightly, not too, too tight. Yes. Now, before closing all this, I'm going to just try, start it. Start the vehicle and see. I can put this back in. Now, so after installation of the YAW rate sensor uh, or the VSA cluster, Don't whatever you call it, under the driver's seat, we reset this uh, light. Uh, I wanted to show you how to reset, but unfortunately I tried and it reset and now it's gone. Now if I use a code reader to scan it, scan the SR, uh, VSA code, ABS code, it'll come back because there's a glitch in the uh, in the software of Honda in these uh, vehicles that will ignite, that will trigger that code. So every time a, a code reader, reader is used, it gives that light too. But anyway, in this case, it was uh, not just a normal reset, as I said at the beginning, that uh, even after reset, the code would keep coming uh, the 26-1 or 104-1 these codes kept coming 25-1 so <clears throat> this is how uh, to I'll quickly show how to reset it so I connected the number 9 is a pin number 9 
I grounded it connected with a wire I actually grounded it right here at the uh, cigarette lighter this just hold, touch it hold it there so as I hold it then or someone else holds it right then you turn the ignition on ignition was off so you ground the wire number nine pin and then turn it on as soon as I turn it on that ABS light comes and goes off way then you press this as the ABS light comes on you press this ABS light goes away as it goes away you press it again just press and release press and release so do that a couple of times press and release press and release and that uh, light the that light will start flashing and go now I am pressing so that light is coming on like traction control deactivated and activated as I showed before I could not I could not uh, do that uh, it was always on and the VSA was written now at last at last at last it's gone now next uh, thing is to get rid of this SRS airbag. I know there is no problem with the airbag sensor, but because the seats were changed uh, The airbag light came on so The new seat sensor at the back of the seat has to be remarried to the SRS uh, SRS uh, Computer uh, There's a way to do that too I'll uh, show, show that uh, sometimes you need the factory uh, HDS to do that but anyway, hope this helps. Uh, now, after a long time, this uh, VSA is gone. It was the failed rate sensor under the driver's seat. And of course, there's another lateral sensor, which is, uh, as I said, behind this guy, behind this guy. So another video will show how to replace that. All right, and either way, after changing this one, lateral sensor or the uh, rate sensor, uh, this has to be reset by this this method here ground the number nine pin hope you enjoyed hope this helps take care